Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I also welcome the additional funds that were announced uh, yesterday, which will undoubtedly go a long way to helping those in the greatest financial need. But I've heard from many of my constituents who are students at institutions across the country continuing to be burdened with the high cost of accommodation, whilst it is the state that demands they stay at their parental home. So can I ask my old friend if she agrees with me that this is fundamentally a question of fairness and what more she can do to fix that imbalance, both for students and the institutions and landlords for whom it is not their fault either. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We do continue to monitor the situation and, and see how long this will last and the impact that the money that we have allocated is having on students. But our priority was to put money into the pockets of those most in need who have been impacting the most from this pandemic. But I am more than happy to continue talking to my honourable friend and any other colleague on this very subject.